Hey everyone, in today's Adobe Premiere video, I wanna show you how to add background music in your project inside of Adobe Premiere. And I also wanna show you how to fade it in and fade it out, how to lower the volume of it, especially if someone else is talking and it needs to become background music and not the dominant sound in your video. And I also wanna show you where to get copyright and royalty free music. Meaning you can't just use any song in any video, especially if you're doing client work or if you're posting on YouTube, you will get in trouble if you use music that you don't have permission to use. So I wanna show you a place where you could actually download as much as you want of the music that doesn't have any copyright issues. It's called royalty-free music. Let's jump in Premiere and get started. And as usual, I have a free trial copy of the latest version of Premiere in the description of this video, so you could go ahead and download and try it out if you don't have the latest version. Okay, so we have our edited sequence here in Adobe Premiere. So I usually add music after I'm done with at least a rough cut here, and then I add music and then fine tune my edit. So this is just the intro you just saw in the same video. First thing is we need to add a track for our music. All I have to do is right click or on a Mac control and then click and then say add tracks right here. And I don't want any video tracks, so zero video tracks, but audio track, I want one more audio track placed after audio track two. I'll press okay. If you already have a third audio track here, then you're all set. But if you don't, that's how you add more audio tracks. This is the track where our music is going to go. So let's go ahead and get our music. Let me go over here to Google Chrome. And I'm gonna show you two different websites. I have affiliate links to both of these in the description below this video. One is called Epidemic Sound, and you basically go on here, look for music, different genres, moods, whatever you want here. And then when you listen to a song that you like, after pressing play, you could just press download right here and download that full mix of that song. And you could get unlimited downloads with one monthly price here. The other option that I use even more frequently is called Envato Elements. And if you go to the music tab here, it brings you to this page. And again, you could sort out by all kinds of different categories and moves over here. And then again, press play, listen to a song, and then press download over here when you like something. I use this because this also has other things like sound effects and graphic templates and stock photos and video templates all for the same monthly price. So I could get everything I use in video production from stock video to graphics right over here for the same monthly price. And the music downloading is unlimited as well. So you could read more about that if you're interested. Let me go ahead and download the song here. So when I download a music track, usually I'll get multiple different tracks. I'll get some PDF documents for using on the radio or on YouTube to explain to me exactly what I need to do, if anything. Sometimes you don't even have to do anything, but sometimes you will have to do something with those platforms. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this because I'm gonna actually bring this to my hard drive where I'm editing this project. And this is the folder here, and I'm going to actually just paste it over here. It doesn't matter if you're on Mac or PC, do the same thing with your folders here. I'll go back to Premiere, and then I'm gonna just double click over here to import and make sure I go back to that same folder I just downloaded this to and I'm gonna go ahead and just import it in. And to add it as a background song, as long as I have a new track, I could just drag and drop it to that track right here. So now it's my background music, but let me show you a couple of different things that you need to do. Let me go ahead and shrink this down. You could see this song is far too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press C just to get the cut tool, and I'm gonna just cut it right here at the end. Then I'm gonna just choose V here, and I'm gonna select this. This is just my arrow tool, the selection tool is V. I'll select this and I'll press delete. So now we have background music going along with what I'm talking about, but let me show you the problem here if I press play. Hey everyone, in today's Adobe Premiere video, the music is too loud and it's overwhelming what I'm saying. So to make it background music, we need to lower the volume. So you could do that by just grabbing right here, this line and bring it down all the way to about 28 or negative 30 dB. Now you have to listen again because this depends on the volume of the original video and the volume of the song, the type of song it is. Let me press I play. I wanna show you how to add background music. In your yeah, that's product. better. Now this is just up to you if you wanna be around negative 28, negative 32, but somewhere around there should do the job. 
Next thing is we want to fade in and fade out the music. So let's go to the beginning. Again, I'm gonna press just plus so I could see the beginning of this track. I actually need to bring it in so it starts right over here. And then I could just drag it to the beginning. And if I click right here, if I right click or control click, I could just apply a default transition here, which is just a constant power. You could also find this in your effects tab, but this will nicely fade things in. Hey everyone, in today's Adobe Premiere video, I wanna show you how to add. And if I go to the end here, I could do the same thing, just stretch out to the end of my clip here, and then I'll right click and then apply default transition again, which is constant power. If you don't see that, or if it applies something else, just go to your effects panel here and look up constant power. And then you could drag it here to the end to create that same effect. And one last thing I'll show you, I'll go to the beginning here and I'll press Everyone, play. In today's Adobe you could actually come up here and look up the audio tab over here and this will bring you the mixer. You basically, if I press play, it's gonna show me the audio of my vocals, track one and two, and track three is my music. So I just have to match those up and then this is my master. I could change the volume of any of these using this mixer. Let me press play to show you here volume of it, especially if someone else is talking and it needs to become back. So you could see the music was hitting around negative 30, so I could have reduced it even more over here if I wanted to. Instead of clicking this line over here and changing the volume, you could use the mixer over here. And it's that simple to add, to fade, to lower the volume of background music inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up. I post easy to follow premiere and filmmaking videos on this channel every single week. And I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.